Okay guys, in this tutorial we're gonna talk about text widget. So the difference between text widget and entry widget is that text widget can hold multiple lines of text. For example, you can load whole file in a text area of your application. Right, so let's create it. T equals, this is just a handle, text, and that thing will be in a top window and let's uh, pack it. For example, well, actually, I'm going to pack it down there because we will have a lot of operations in between. So t dot pack side will be top, of course, and anchor will be northwest. Why not? And now the thing will work. OK, don't worry about that because you don't see anything here. Uh, right. So this is kind of small. So let's boost it to previous dimensions. 800 okay cool this is size by default right so how to load any kind of text any kind of file in a text widget well let's do that right here file open and from my uh, folder of python here i'm gonna choose license license.txt okay of course, string license.txt and we will do just the reading here. And also when we are done, we need to close our file. File.close. Okay. Uh, F5. Nothing happens because it is not enough to open file. We need to read it and put it into text widget text area. Uh, we're going to do that with a for loop. So for x in that file, and we are going to read it. Uh, we will insert in a text widget every of those lines, uh, starting from end of previous line, right? Uh, okay, comma, and hopefully everything will be fine now. Okay, that's cool. This is default situation. So let's change a couple of characteristics of that textual widget. For example, what about padding? Um, horizontal padding and vertical. Well, we can type here, let's say, uh, that padding for X is 20 pixels horizontally. There you go, guys. You have it. You basically see it from the left side. And what about uh, epsilon padding? Padding from uh, bottom and from top will be, let's say, also 20. Will that work? OK, cool, that works. What about uh, dimensions of that field? Or, I mean, text widget. Well, you cannot use pixels here uh, for width, because if you say width here, one, uh, 100 pixels, let's say, you think that, that we are talking about pixels, we'll have problem. So width for text widget is in number of characters. Okay, number of characters. Let's say 79 for terminal, let's say. Terminal size, classical stuff. 79 will work. And also something stupid, 50, that will also work. Okay, uh, what about height? Is that in pixels? Well, no. Uh, height is in number of lines, not number of characters, as it's case with width, it's number of lines. Okay? Height equals, for example, 20 lines. F5. There you go. And this thing is scrollable by default. Yes, you don't see a scroll bar here, uh, but yeah, it will work. All right, what else? Uh, cursor, how to change the shape of cursor? Cursor equals something ugly, let's say dot. So when you hover over that thing, see now by default is arrow, but when you hover it's it's a dot. So I don't like it for some reason that dot, so I will just delete it. Or let's just leave it here for reference, who cares? Right, uh, what about relief? Uh, relief, for example, will be flat. Flat. 
f5 there you go that's default stuff uh let me actually use something else like uh groove how to type this in english groove i think right i don't see anything <laughs> because i'm not using border border size sorry about that border size will be 10 pixels and now we will see relief right there you go stupid me sorry about that anyway uh that flat thing flat thing there you go nothing special here and the ridge i think that uh characteristic is ridge yeah that's it opposite of groove if i remember correctly right well what about background color well bg equals light yellow uh that will work okay cool it started looks like emacs and uh, what about font color well fg and i'm gonna push it down there fg will be red something totally obvious and visible easy thing to note red okay and something stupid like uh, yellow but this one will be ugly yeah definitely ugly yeah let's just stick with the red okay so what about uh the case when you select part of text what if you want to change background then of that specific part of text well you're gonna say select background select background equals um yellow okay and now when you select this stuff it will become yellow what about uh foreground color or uh, i mean font in this case when you select stuff well correspondingly you're gonna say sell so select right foreground hopefully i type that correctly uh in this case that will be black font let me test that right so that will work okay uh, what about font family if you use uh, css terminology here now let me see uh, font for example something nice verdana okay obvious difference and uh, what else let me see well yeah that's that's pretty much it uh, i mean you have a lot of uh, examples on internet documentation is great but it's also big you probably need a couple of weeks to read it uh but yeah guys this is pretty much story a very simple story about text field now yeah you can uh, you can create all kind of menus all kind of frames uh you can create application that will uh receive like something from text field or entry field and then you can create button when you click on it you will save uh, that stuff in uh, external file or you can overwrite it uh, you can append to it or something like that so we are just talking about ideas but the thing about kinter is that you definitely need to work with it for a couple of weeks to uh, learn what goes where so by watching these tutorials you cannot grasp everything just general concepts uh, and yeah i know that it's kind of difficult and probably you will run into some kind of pain because this is low level stuff but as i said a couple of uh, tutorials ago this thing is uh by default uh comes with the python installation it's free you can use it for your personal projects and stuff like that anyway guys that's pretty much it in this tutorial i'm gonna shut up as always and uh, yeah See you in the next one.